Why does Audi fixate over every fixing, fastener and trim clip when it does its marketing? Why is software company SAP sapient when making its B2B customers the hero of their ads? And how might you apply Carl Jung's The Sage Archetype to help you build a more compelling business? This is Zonal Marketing. Welcome to episode 23 of Zonal Marketing, a series which explores how innovative brands are shaking up their industries with extraordinary marketing. I'm Simon Vincent, the ex-CMO, and in this episode I'm explaining what the Sage archetype is, outlining how some extremely successful brands have made it a central part of their marketing efforts, and I'll be helping you to understand how you might apply it to your business to help you also gain a massive advantage over your competitors. The Sage is an archetype that's often adopted by business-to-business -business companies because of its focus on facts, logic and wisdom. Characterised by the wise old man, think of Gandalf in Lord of the Rings or Yoda in Star Wars, the archetype appeals to the B2B world because companies often feel they have to remove the emotion from their messaging in favour of focusing on features and benefits or the end goals of their customer. But in pop culture, sage characters often manifest as the guide, a person who helps their protege, usually the story's real hero, on their own existential journey. And when businesses market themselves through this lens, what results is often some of the most perceptive, most persuasive messaging around. And so let's start by looking at how one B2B brand, SAP, and one B2C brand, Audi, have both engaged the Sage in pretty incredible ways. The primary drive for the Sage, according to Jung, was to go on a spiritual journey. And this spiritual journey was fundamentally a quest for knowledge. Audi, with their Vorsprung durch technique, progress through technology strapline, could hardly align themselves with any other archetype. After all, the entire essence of the company is about advancement through the application of a superior intellect. It simply helps that their product facilitates actual journeys as well as spiritual ones. And so when Audi market themselves, they fascinate on tiny details. They break their cars apart figuratively and occasionally literally as a means of focusing attention on all the tiny details, all the little tweaks and turbochargings that make their vehicles a technological tour de force. For the automotive enthusiast, this is practically car porn and they will obsess over it like a German engineer fixates over every fixing, fastener and trim clip. When they're not applying a sharp focus to their products, they're taking a wide angle lens and turning it on their customers. When I worked with them, we developed an editorial website, the aim of which was to tell compelling stories about captivating people, taking their Audis on remarkable journeys. In so doing, we made our customers the hero, and the car was simply the facilitator in helping them on their path. And this isn't something that's only possible with B2C brands. Software company SAP did something similar with their Best Run campaign. In it, they strategically turned their focus from operations to outcomes. As Marketing Week put it in a 2019 interview with SAP CMO Alicia Tillman, rather than communicating how SAP helps companies to run better, it now communicates how the best run companies use SAP to make the world run better. The result? has been an extremely compelling set of ads that told stories of how SAP customers are using its tech to solve economic, societal and environmental challenges. The lesson is that whether your customer is the end user or another business, there are always ways to make them the hero, boosting the perception of your company in the process. What can we learn from the examples of Audi and SAP and how might we bring the Sage archetype into our own marketing to help us communicate more compellingly? The first thing to establish 
is whether the archetype even works for your company in the first place. For help on this, I recommend my introduction to marketing tactics episode, in which I explain why asking the question, what's our problem, is more useful when planning your marketing than the more typical, what do we want to achieve? Brands that typically suit the sage are those that are a high consideration purchase decision, either because they cost a lot of money or because they require a high emotional investment from the customer. In such situations, breaking your product down and taking your customer through each part in detail is helpful because you're appealing to their sense of logic. You're persuading them that this is the right purchase for them. Who knows which detail will be the one to push them over the purchasing edge. It also gives you multiple bites of the cherry. In marketing, the rule of seven theory posits that customers need to have at least seven touch points with your brand before they remember you. In fact, one piece of Think with Google research found that the typical car buying customer has more than 900 digital interactions alone before making their purchase. So. No wonder Audi like to create so much content. While all of this appeals to the head, you can appeal to your customer's heart by focusing on the journey. What's the destination and how does your product help your customer to get there? Make the audience the hero, put them in the picture with your images and communicate utility with your words. How will I use your product to make my life better? For more on this approach to marketing a high consideration product, check out my zonal marketing episode on Tiki Taka marketing, in which I outline what we can learn from football manager Pep Guardiola in terms of how his teams break down their competitors. Okay, that's about all for this week. For more on the ideas and approaches mentioned in this episode, I recommend checking out my core zonal marketing playlist on which I take you through the process of building a considered, creative and compelling marketing mix from scratch, taking my lead from the world of sports tactics. If you prefer more of the human touch, you can ask me to talk through these ideas with you and your team one-to-one. -one. I'm available for speaking gigs, training sessions and client work. And to find out how to talk to me about any of that, please visit x-cmo.com. Check back here every week for a new episode, each one exploring how an innovative brand is shaking up their industry with extraordinary marketing. As always, if you're enjoying this series, please do like, comment, share, subscribe, and or review, depending on the platform you are on. It all really helps the channels. If it helps the channels, I'm hoping it'll help more people just like you. Until next time, thank you for your attention. Thank you.